We're learning more about former congressional IT aide Imran Awan, who is facing fraud charges in connection with stealing data from Democrat congressional offices. One America's John Hines has the latest from Washington. A former IT aide who is suspected of stealing equipment and data from Democratic members of Congress still had a secret, active House email account until just days ago, even though he had been banned from the computer network because of an ongoing investigation, according to a new report from The Daily Caller. So remember, this guy was banned from the House network uh, because he's the suspect in cybersecurity criminal probe. He was banned way back in February 2nd, and since that time, law enforcement has been all over him. He was indicted by the FBI. His wife fled the country. But what we've discovered just now is that whole time he had a backdoor into the system, uh, a secret email address that was active even as of yesterday. So even as he was arrested trying to leave the country, Imran Awan appears to have had an active congressional email email account, says Luke Rosiak, investigative reporter for the Daily Caller News Foundation. And the other person whose name appears in connection with the email address is a staff member for Indiana Democratic Representative Andre Carson, who is a member of the Intelligence and Homeland Security Committees. Well, 123 at mail.house.gov was Imram's email address, but when you send an email to it, it fills in the name of the recipient as this guy named Nathan Bennett, who is one of the Capitol Hill staffers that deals with intelligence matters and national security. He works for uh, a guy named Andre Carson, a Democrat from Indiana, who's on both the Homeland Security and the Intelligence Committees. Uh, he also happens to be one of two Muslim members of Congress, and he was an employer of Imran Awan. So Awan's apparently secret email account was still connected to his former employer until just days ago, according to Rosiak. And when Rosia contacted Congressman Carson's office, he received a curious reaction. What I was uh, interested to see is that the reaction was very subdued. This is wild stuff to have a indicted IT guy with access to all of members of Congress's emails. He's working for and using the name of uh, some intelligence uh, committee linked staffers. He's not supposed to have access to the network, but he still does. Uh, this is big stuff. This is stuff that's taken that, that should be taken seriously. Authorities shut down Awan's standard email account back in February. He is due to appear in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia for a preliminary hearing Friday. John Hines, One American News, Washington.